Hello, lovely people. This is part two of my panda tutorial. In this video, we will crochet the head and the little tail. And so if you already finished the body, then you're in the right place. If not, then start with part one. I'll link to it up here so that you can Crochet the legs and body first, and then you can get back to this video to crochet the head. So, without, without further ado, let's get started. The head is, in my opinion, much easier than the, uh, than the body. So, we finished the most difficult part of it. So, we start with white. It's mainly white, just for the eyes. We make these black patches and the nose is embroidered. So I'll show you how to do that later. And so we start with a magic ring in white. And then we single crochet six in the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we close it. And in round two, we increase in all six stitches. So two single crochet in each. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So here I place my stitch marker in the last stitch and I close the magic ring a bit more firmly. And now in round three, we increase further so we start with an increase and then we single crochet one and we repeat this six times all together five more times one increase in every other stitch let's start with the light off while well, I'm using the white yarn, maybe that's easier to see for you. So, increase and single crochet. Increase. And single crochet. Increase and single crochet and once more increase and single crochet. So that's round three done. So we have 18 stitches in our round now. Not really sure if this is enough light, but with the artificial light it looks a bit blown out. So we'll keep going. Let me know which which is better. Um, lights on or lights off for the next video. But anyway, I hope next time I'm recording it's not not such a gloomy day as today. 
So in round four, we simply single crochet in all 18 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And that's round four done. In the next round, we start joining the black yarn. So I'll just make a loop ready in black or pink in my case. So that we have back to hand when we want to join the black yarn. So we start with two single crochet, one and two, and in the third single crochet we change to black. So we pull the white loop out, then pull the black loop on our hook and put it through the two white loops. And we just get this yarn end out of the way, and as we did with the body, we work the, the other color in our stitches while we crochet with the, with the current main color. So now we increase in the next stitch. So we crochet around the white yarn, just as a reminder, we go under the white yarn, pick up the black and put it through the stitch from underneath the white yarn. Then we go over the white yarn to pick it up again and pull it through the two loops. And we have an increase, so one more in the same stitch. Then we single crochet one in the next stitch. And then we increase again in the next stitch and at the same time we change back to white in the second single crochet of the increase. So the first single crochet we make completely in black and with the next single crochet in the same stitch we change to white. And then we single crochet in the next stitch Increase again in the next. Then we change to black again in the next single crochet. So pick up the white, then we pick up black and switch. Then we increase. So two single crochet in here, one single crochet in the next, and then we increase again and we change back to white in the second single crochet of the increase. So one single crochet in black and the next one in the same stitch, changing back to white. Then we single crochet one, and increase one in the next. And then we single crochet in the remaining four stitches. One, two, 
three and four. Oops. So sometimes pull the black yarn a little bit to make sure it doesn't pop out in between the white stitches. And that's round five done. Now we only have round six in which we work with both colors. Then we can already fasten the black yarn off. And we start again with two single crochet. One and two. Then in the next single crochet we change to black. So black goes on top. Then we single crochet two. In the next one, no increase just yet. Now in the next stitch we can increase. So two single crochet in here. Then we single crochet one in the next stitch. And with the next single crochet we change back to white. So white goes on top. Now we increase in the next stitch. So two single crochet in here. Then we single crochet two, one, and two. And now we increase again and we change to black in the second single crochet of the increase. So one single crochet in white and then one in the same spot, changing to black. Then we single crochet two, one, and two, increase in the next stitch, one and two in the same, and now Where was I? All right, now we single crochet one. And in the next single crochet, we change back to white. So white goes on top. Although we don't need the black yarn anymore, I still um, continue crocheting it in to the end of the round, just um, so that it's a little bit more secure. So now that we change to white, we can increase in the next stitch. Then we single crochet two. Increase one last time. And then we single crochet in the remaining three stitches. One, two, and three. And that's round six done. Now I give the black yarn a little tug again and now I can fasten it off. And our round has 30 stitches now and we keep increasing in the next round. So we start with three single crochet, one, two, three, 
then we increase in the next stitch and we repeat this series of stitches five more times so three single crochet one two three and one increase and one two three one increase that was the third repetition all together all together we need six three single crochet and one increase in the next that's four then three single crochet and one increase and that's five and three single crochet one two three and one increase and that's six so now we should have six stitches left and we just single crochet one in each that's two three, four, five, and six. And that's round seven complete. And now we're done with our increases and actually now is a good time to embroider the nose and mouth so I'm going to secure my stitch here and we start with the nose you can also insert the safety eyes later but I always like to do the embroidery first Maybe for this, we'll turn on the light, might be better. So, we embroidered the nose in a triangle shape, and it's a very wide triangle. And it's about... It's like it's going across the first two rounds but only one round down if I'm not mistaken so we find a spot somewhere in the lower center of the first round, if that makes sense. So, so this here is the first round where we can see these um, little gaps. And now this is where the eyes go. And so this is kind of the center this is the magic ring center and we just go one round beneath it, so to speak. So from the inside out, I stitch through with my embroidery floss and I just define the shape of the nose first. So now I'm just holding it. I'm trying to hold it very um, straight up so that I get the nose right. It's just a little bit <laughs> crooked with this one, but don't worry too much about it if that happens. I think that's cute. So I'm going two rounds to one side. And 
and it's like almost the same level as the center of the magic ring. So almost the halfway point here and then I stitch through to the other side kind of mirroring that spot a little bit higher and almost at the end of round two but the thing is we don't want to stitch through in between stitches because this way we don't have much control over where our stitches go and they will probably not look the way we want them to so we actually stitch through the fibers that's why we need such a small pointy needle and now with the needle in there you can actually see if it's straight because let me just put it down this way it will be more obvious to see if it's really horizontal I think that's looking quite good so we have a little bit of pink here and here just go in with it now and we're doing back stitches so now we're stitching back in the same spot that we just stitched through but this time we stitch through to where we started here or hang on actually we should stitch through the same spot again so that we come out of here and then we stitch back to where we started so more or less the same spot this should be fine pull that through so now we have that upper outline of the nose and now we stitch through it where we first started I'm trying to catch some fibers so that I don't stitch through in between the stitches and that's it so that's the outline of the nose now we just need to fill it so now maybe the lighting's a good idea I'm not sure yet um, also when we do all of this just be careful that you don't sew on this working yarn end <laughs> that's very annoying happened to me before <laughs> so now we just fill the nose by making a few stitches very close to this outline but we stitch inside of the outline working from the top down so the stitches get smaller each time now somewhere here in this corner we make a stitch be careful not to um, poke you yourself with the needle and then we work ourselves down here as close to the outline as possible so that we don't have any big white gaps showing through so we're just making a few horizontal stitches And here is where you may want to use the pliers if you have them. So far I'm okay without them.
maybe one or two more stitches. Now I'm just covering any white spots that are still shining through, not necessarily with horizontal stitches. Not, um, let's say, embroidery is not my strong suit. And I'm okay with doing it this way. Since it's black, it won't be very obvious. So I just make the last two stitches diagonal this way. And now we can go ahead and embroider the mouth. So first we do a little stitch here to connect the mouth and nose. So I'm trying to go exactly underneath this um, center, lower center spot of the nose and stitch back through to that point. And from here we start with one side of the mouth, doesn't matter which one. So here I made it quite wide. I mean it's it's kind of aligning with the corner of the nose. So that's where I stitched through but it's kind of between in between round two and three but I'm stitching through the fibers again. And then again through this center point here. Center point of the mouth. So that's one side done. And now we find the other side. A little bit lower maybe. Again, between round two and three, close to the corner of the nose. But you can, of course, make the mouth smaller. It would look very cute as well. And again, through the center point of the mouth. And that's it. That's our embroidery done. So now I'll just go ahead Seems like I made a big mess here and it's already kind of tangled up <laughs> Not a problem, so you can just um, tie the ends together and cut them short And that's the embroidery done. Now we can already go ahead and attach the safety eyes as well. Unless you want to embroider the eyes, you can also do that now. So I attached the eyes in between these black rounds. In the upper part of the black patches. So that's what I'll be doing again. Here we can see it better. So I'm going through here. I'm just widening this gap carefully with my closed scissors so that the safety eyes fit through there. If you're careful not to damage the fibers, it's not a problem if you change your mind, if you change the position of the, the eyes again later it shouldn't be a problem but that's looking good to me so I'll do the same on the other side 
So this side was actually wrong. So there should be, if you want to do it the same way, there should be one black stitch toward the center and the rest of the black stitches are outward or downward um, because that's what I did here. So just adjusted it on the other side so that it's symmetrical and now I'm going to attach or secure them and then we can continue so the next part is very straightforward we just single crochet in all 36 stitches and we do that for the next three rounds so round 8 to 10 and I'll just let you go ahead with that so you can pause the video here and hit play once you crochet three rounds of 36 single crochet. My three rounds of 36 single crochet are complete now. And so in round 11 we already start decreasing. So we single crochet four. Three, four, and then we decrease. And we repeat this five more times, six times in total. Two, three, four, and decrease. One, two, three, four, and decrease. And once more. One, two, three, four and decrease so that's round 11 done and in round 12 we keep decreasing this way so this time we start with three single crochet one two, three, and decrease. And this we also repeat six times all together. Three single crochet and a decrease. That's halfway already, so in the previous round we reduced our stitch count to 30 and now in this round we are reducing it to 24. And once more, one, two, three, and decrease, 
and we can start filling the head with fiber fill now just to make sure that the nose is nicely filled with the snout I'll add more fiber fill after finishing the next round. So in the next round we start with two single crochet. And then we decrease. And this we also repeat five more times, six times in total. Two single crochet and one decrease. I just totally got distracted by the blackbird singing outside. Not sure if you can hear them. Um, I always try to reduce the background noise, not because of the birds. They're lovely, but just because there's other noise. So I'm not sure if you can hear them. I hope I hope the bird sounds remain in the video. <laughs> and once more two single crochet. And one decrease. So now I'll add more fiber fail. As with the body we want to be generous with the fiber fill and make sure that it goes everywhere. That's enough for now because we can still add more after crushing the next round. And so that one starts with one single crochet. And then we have a decrease. And this we repeat six times as well. So one single crochet and one decrease. At this point I like to squeeze the head together which helps me get in the front loops to make the decreases Not sure if this is any better, but anyway, I think by now you know what we're doing. If you finish that chubby little panda body, then this, this part here is nothing for you. That's a walk in the park. And one more decrease. So now we only have one round to go and this is the last chance for us to get some more fiber fill in there.
little bit more. <laughs> so you want to make sure that it's evenly distributed. Otherwise the face looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a bit crooked as well. I think that's just the nature of crochet because everything shifts a little with each round, so that's fine. So we have one more round to go. I won't, won't use the stitch marker anymore because now all that's left are six decreases. That's one, and two, three. Four, five, and one more. Six. So head done now we just need to close this round I'm not leaving a long end for sewing because um like well <laughs> I could have but um it's not a big difference yeah I'll just I'll just use a new piece of yarn and you can also maybe you prefer using black yarn I used white here So now we go through the front loops of all six stitches with our yarn and thread it on the yarn needle. Then you pull that tight. Don't pull too tight if you're using anything else than cotton because Um, that might not be sturdy enough, so you don't want to rip your yarn tail. So it's looking good. So now we just weave in this yarn end, and then we can go ahead and crochet the ears. So for the ears we're using black yarn and we begin with a magic ring. And once again we start with six single crochet in the magic ring. One two three four five and six 
six. Then we close the magic ring and we increase in all six stitches. Oops, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve. So then we close the magic ring properly if you haven't already. And in round three, we single crochet in all twelve stitches of the round. So just one single crochet in each. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Um, we can, well, it's not necessary, but we can finish with a slip stitch here. And then we leave a long enough yarn in to sew the heel on. Fasten off. And we're going to fold the ear in half. So that it looks like that. And then we fold it again this way so that it looks more like a bare ear. And this way we will sew it on. But first we make the other ear. So I'll put whichever minute you can go back to to repeat the steps in case you don't remember them. And I put them here and they're also in the description box below. In this case, I thought I'd leave the assembly part for the end of the video. So before we sew on the ears and then sew the head on the body, I thought we'd make the tail real quick. So with the tail, I don't know, I <laughs> looked at panda pictures and sometimes it was black, I think, and sometimes white. So I don't know, <laughs> honestly, no idea. So choose whichever color you like. I'm going for white again, or maybe this time I'm going for pink, because this way I can help you better, um, because we need to be more careful with how to sew the body parts on if they are made in the contrast color. So I'm trying it out for this uh, pink panda here. <laughs> so we're making a magic ring again. And we single crochet six in it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Close the magic ring. And in round two and three, we single crochet in all these six stitches. So, just one single crochet in each. It helps if you don't crochet too tightly for this.
that's one round and now we add another round also I'll close the magic ring properly now so just another round of six single crochet one in each stitch just be careful not to make any increases accidentally that happens to me sometimes with tiny rounds like this So just check and make sure that you have the next stitch and not the same one on your hook. It's three. Four. Five. and six and that's the tail done already so we can fasten off here again leaving the yarn and long enough to sew it on obviously that doesn't need a very long yarn end and that's the tail done so now all that's left to do is the assembly part Not my favorite part, to be completely honest. <laughs> That's why I always try to crochet the legs on so that I at least don't have to sew the legs on. But we're going to make it as fun as possible. <laughs> so let's start by sewing the ears on the head. And what I did, I tried to align where the black patches begin. With uh, where the ears begin. So I'm sewing them on round 11 and beyond. So round 7 to 10 here, there's nothing on, on here. So we have four or actually five rounds distance between the ears and eyes. So let's just thread this yarn end on our needle and you can of course use pins for this I just end up removing the pins very quickly anyway so I'll just I'll just wing it and just start here So the ears again, they should be squished together nicely so that they don't become too big, too wide. And then I just start here. So start with the outer corner of the ears. And then I go through the through both layers of the ear and stitch back forward. Let's pull that nice and tight. And then I go through the same spot on the head because we don't want the ears to become very wide. We want them to be kind of fold it together and then I go through the next two stitches on opposite sides of the ear these two this time stitch back forward and again I go through the same spot The other yarn and I just keep out of the way. Then I go through the next two stitches. Um, so it's that one and the one on the opposite side. And 
And now I go through the next stitch for the next yeah, gap between stitches next to where we went through before. And again through the next two stitches of the ear. Oh, I went through there before, so moving on to the next stitch. And then again through the same spot of the head. Then again through both layers of the ear. And the same spot of the head. Then again through both layers of the ear, stitching forward and backward. Now through the next spot on the head. And then again through the ear and through the same spot on the head. And that's ear one done. So now we can weave that in. until we feel it's nicely secured and I'm trying to follow the pattern of the single crochet stitches here oh, at least one more there we go and then we can cut this short And we can also weave in the other yarn in that just secures the ear even more. Just with a few stitches. And there we go, that's one ear attached. Let's do the other ear together as well because this one we start from the inside. So it's, it's, it's the same <laughs> method, but still, just in case you'd like to do that together with me. Mm. So this one you also may want to make sure that it's folded and then we just find the right spot to start with it on the same round, round 11 and last time I left around 5 stitches space in between ears so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 should be fine 5 or 6 should be fine. And now I stitch again through both layers of the ear. Here, for now, we're at the corner here. Hold that nice and tight. 
and then we go through the same spot on the head and then through the next two stitches on the ear two stitches on opposite sides like this and one more time we go through the same spot on the head and through two stitches and opposite sides of the ear This time we can move on to the next spot on the head. So close to the previous one, as close as possible. Right there. Then we go through the ear again and through the head in, at the same spot and through the next spot in the ear and once more through the same spot on the head. the next spot on the ear and the next spot on the head next spot of the ear and same spot through the head And now we should have one stitch remaining on the ear and we go again through the same spot on the head that nice and tight and weave in the yarn end Short. and now we weave in the other yarn end and that helps attach this corner of the ear a little better short give it a final squish and that's the ears done so now we can sew the head on the body this way and you can either use black or white yarn for this I'll be using white and black Maybe I'm using 40 centimeters, like 16 inches, and that's more than enough. 
So you can of course use pins to hold it in place. This time I didn't use pins at all for some reason, but it worked. Um, so we just take a look at where we need to attach. So we start attaching the head from the center of the first round here and then more downward so let's let's start there so we go through the head first maybe a little bit higher pull that through Now we just want to make sure that it's centered. So we find a stitch here on the body to attach this bit to. And it's important that we, if we use white yarn, we want to be careful on stitching as close to the head as possible on the black surface and vice versa because um, if for example I would stitch through somewhere here or here then the stitch becomes very long and very visible and that's what we want to avoid and if you're using black yarn then you want the stitches to be nice and small in general anyway but especially here on the white surface so we can just secure this with a double knot, but nice and tight. And then we work our way around. Yarn it it's out of the way. Just once in a while, stop and make sure that it, it's in the right position. And if that's something you're struggling with, then definitely use pins. I just always end up removing the pins so quickly that I'm just wondering why I'm using them. I mean, with bigger projects, I would definitely still use them though, but. With small projects like this, I, I tend to not to not to use them. So then we find the next stitch and always hold the head where you want it to be, so that you can see where you can make the next stitch, so that the the which becomes as small as possible. So we kind of attach the head in a half circle. So here we're making like a more or less horizontal line and then we go make a half circle around here. And that's, that's where the half circle begins now. So I'm going through here now and stitching diagonally downward on the body. Oops, sorry. <laughs> And now I'll just stick to this, these spots here.
So now I'll go upward again. Always checking to make sure that it's in the right position. And just always pull the stitches nice and tight so that it, they become less visible. And now I've done one round. I think that's enough actually. But you can definitely do another round, especially if it's going to be played with and has to be washed or anything like that. Just please don't give it to small children if you use safety eyes. Just, just mentioning it in case. So now I'm just making one knot because I don't want it to want there to be a thick knot. And then I just go ahead and weave in the yarn and both yarn ends. short and then weave in the other yarn and as well the same way our little panda almost done but of course we still want to attach the tail so now we thread the yarn end of the tail on our needle so this yarn end and I attach the tail on I believe round 10 and 9 so you can just count the last few rounds, so count, count backward, um, one, two, three, four, five, and that's where it can go. So, somewhere here, and 
um, I, I'm sewing it on this way that I stitched down one round and then with the tail I don't go through both layers I just go through the top layer so that it doesn't point upward because I want it to point downward I just go through the top layer so I just ignored this layer here for now and just went through this then I go through the next spot next to it next spot of the body and again just through the top layer of the tail and go through the same spot of the body again and through the next stitch of the tail and through the same spot again because it's pretty centered then I just go through here like one round one more round downward and that's from here I go through the whole tail because I want to attach it there so that it really points downward and doesn't doesn't come up or anything so now because I'm using the contrast color I just need to be more careful where I place my stitches so I just go back down and I guess I'll make a little tiny stitch here horizontally and then we just weave in the yarn ends and that's it Short and we'll repeat the same with the other one. This one we can also stitch through the body once so that it also helps securing the tail. that's woven in we cut this one short as well and that's the tail attached and this means our little panda is complete very well done that was a quite a big quite a big project <laughs> so at least at least um at least for my standards <laughs> so thank you so so much for crocheting along with me i hope you enjoyed this little project i'd love to see your panda so if you share it on instagram or facebook make sure to tag me with at stella's yarn universe so i can comment and give you a big thumbs up that would be great and also this way you enter in my monthly giveaway in which I give away a, um, one of my paid patterns on Instagram and Facebook. And sometimes I do a rollover. So um, don't worry if you don't see me um, share anything in my stories the first of the month. That's just because I'm waiting for more people to share pictures. And whenever I do this, then we have two winners the next month so that it's still fair and you have the same chance of winning a pattern from my shop.
So if you enjoyed this project, please give this video a thumbs up for me. That would be fantastic. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel and to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future Amigurumi tutorials. Thank you so, so much again for being here and thank you for pushing along with me. Have a fabulous weekend and happy crocheting. Bye!